What is up, YouTube? Welcome to Panfro Games, and we have a leak update for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We also have some more riddles to cover from Riddler Koo about some new Pokemon and more. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the video, I really appreciate it. Starting off with the two leaked images from yesterday's Scarlet and Violet video. So the top picture here is a legitimate picture, the picture with the boxes. So it looks like the person who has the game right now picked Rigorito as their starter. So they're most likely gonna be seeing that final evolution. But this is our first look at the boxes. So no one has confirmed that this is fake because we really have no reference data. Now the big image in question is the second image. Is this image fake with the Charmander? And yes, the image is fake, but just because the image is fake doesn't mean the information from this image is actually false, which is what I'm trying to convey in the comments yesterday. But to pretty much describe it, one, yes, the Charmander image is completely fake. You can see that there is a hint of white pixels around the Charmander icon. It's not very clean, just masked by the image quality. You don't see this with Belly Bolt. So when you compare the images here, one, you can see how they essentially just took this from the trailer and then put on a Charmander and a trainer icon onto the trailer video. So that's how they made the image. And when you actually compare the two icons of Charmander and Belly Bolt, you can see that Belly Bolt is a lot darker and the outline's a lot better. There's no white pixels on the Belly Bolt, but you do see some of that on the Charmander. So yes, the Charmander image is fake. However, just because the image was fake doesn't mean the information was necessarily fake. Soul Silver Art here says, all right, who wants wild news? The Chinese Riddler has been active today. Those Charmander images from earlier today were probably fake. But here, Chinese Riddler is suggesting that the Charizard line might actually be in base Scarlet and Violet. Nothing confirmed yet, but this is a very credible source. So pretty much, yes, the images are fake, but the Chinese Riddler has confirmed that it is possible to get Charmander in base Scarlet and Violet. And so this is originally what they said here. However, if we do translate it, we can actually see what they say. So this was the translated text. And it says, there's a special way available to obtain a Charmander in game. I refers to he. Suppose if maybe like you'll get one from an NPC if you have a save data from Sword and Shield. And of course, based on the leaked decks, it may be a gift Pokemon without dex number. And you can simply trade with other trainers or wait for a home to be available. If you do not have a save data for Sword and Shield. And to me, I really do believe that there's going to be some sort of save transfer Pokemon. We have seen this in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl with getting Mew and Jirachi by having a Sword and Shield save data for Jirachi and by having a Let's Go Pikachu EV save for Mew. So it's not too surprising. It's not a brand new idea. But also, because this is probably going to be a thing in Scarlet and Violet, I wonder if you have a Legends Arceus save, you're going to get like some sort of Hisuian Pokemon and maybe some Gen 4 Pokemon if you have a Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl save on your Switch. So I think it is probably worth it to get those games you don't already have them or at least borrowing someone's copy so you just have the save data existing on your Switch. And now for some Riddler Koo leaks. And Riddler Koo says, One of the new food mons is super strong in double battles. Guess who is that yummy? Hint, it has three Ts. So there is a lot of food Pokemon right now. We know that there's a Hot Pepper Pokemon. There's a Sushi Dragon Pokemon. There is Fido, who's just bread. Smoliv is an olive. Technically, Lechant is just pork. So there is a lot of food Pokemon. However, the key term here is double battles. And even paying attention to the channel and saw the Titan video, we know that the Sushi Dragon is one of the five Titans, and apparently it is going to be the last Titan too. But not only that, it's going to be the Titan battle that's actually going to be a double fight. The Sushi Dragon is going to team up with the water type catfish Pokemon, who is a Sushi Chef. So that seems to be calling out here in this tweet that it's going to be the Sushi Dragon. But what is this? It has three T's on it. What are three T's? Something related to its name, apparently, in English. And when we look at Riddler Coos here, he says, seems that was a little hard. New hint, red, orange, and yellow. So personally, at first I was thinking, well, maybe this could be the pepper Pokemon because there's red peppers, orange peppers, and yellow peppers. But we do know that the pepper Pokemon is going to have two heads. So I assume it's going to be like a red and a green pepper or something like that. The, the fact here is one too many colors. So it's definitely not that. So maybe it's something related to the Sushi Dragon. And now Pearl Enthusiast has a really good theory on what it actually means. He says it's a food mon. It has three T's that can only mean one thing 
toppings. It has three toppings. Like, okay, now we got sushi toppings, which makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of different types of sushi out there, right? So when we look at this, now we need to figure out what these toppings are and what it's linked to. It's the sushi monsters, they regularly get its toppings put on them. And now if we look at red, orange, and yellow, that could be related to different types of sushi. So we got the red one that could be tuna, then we got the orange that's like salmon, and then the yellow, which is egg. So that is going to be our three different sushi forms. We don't know if the sushi dragon is going to be able to change these forms really nilly. Maybe we got to give them an item or something like that. Or maybe it'll like boost an attack, boost its fence, boost speed, something like that. Maybe it's the ability and it could change its sushi type based on you doing something or something happening in battle to it. There's just a lot of possibilities, but this water dragon sushi mon does seem to be incredible and the fact that it's gonna be good in double battles means we're gonna be able to see whatever this absolute beast is is gonna be great in the vgc scene so apparently the sushi has some sort of topping form with its ability and there's some speculation here we know there is a water type gym leader and the water type gym leader does look like some sort of chef so since Klotzer and the Sushi Mon are in the game, it leads me to believe that the water type gym leader is some sort of cook. And I can imagine him having a lot of water types that are food based. And maybe there's going to be a non food based Pokemon that he's going to turn into a water type. Something like Smala could be interesting. Lechong, Fido, you know, I'm sure there's going to be other food mons in the game too. Oh, maybe the hot pepper. That would actually make a lot of sense. You know, fire and grass becoming terra typing to a water type would be really interesting. So I can see that happening in the game. And you may be saying, well, how can the Susie Dragon have his own form? Didn't we go over a series of tweets that essentially said, these are the Pokemon that have forms. Well, Riddler Koo did mention at the end here, which I didn't miss, that all the food Pokemon, or at least some of the food Pokemon, are going to have new forms in the game so the first row was just standard forms the second row here was gender forms and the last row is like transformation forms essentially like a rotom like becoming a different thing when it interacts with something but now we also got food forms and apparently it's going to be more ability based i'm really excited to see how that works and there we have it guys that is our riddle and leak update today for scarlet and violet stay tuned to the channel for all the leaks coming we got images we got a data mine and then of course we got guides let's plays and all that fun stuff coming to scarlet and violet once the games actually launch and of course if you're new to the channel please subscribe like the video i really appreciate it and have a good one peace out